Hi, I'm Jamie from Red Dishes Farm, and today we're going to show you the new milking machine. Now, we have got to the point where we can use it by ourselves. Um, it's a lot easier when you use two people, but it's doable with one. But today I have a helper. So I have my niece, Eris, and she is really liking the whole getting the cow ready, milking. So it's, um, it'll be a little different, like, different today, but we're gonna show you how we can milk the cow. Okay. So she is seven, and so that'll kind of give you an idea of how this operation is gonna go. So let me show you real quick what we have. Okay, so the milking machine that I bought is a US solid. You can see the tank down here, it's a six and a half gallon tank. Um, has a nice pulser on the top, and the vacuum pump is a half horse vacuum pump, and you might buy your vacuum pump, you're gonna spend a lot more getting your fittings and stuff set up, get your regulator up, put your gauges up, the whole nine yards. We have, this is our cluster, and I can do all four obviously at the same time. If you're by yourself and you can't get the hang of it, you can cap, we have caps that goes in here, and that's how we have to start it anyway with two people. You cap it, pop them off. You start out with two. If you have to just milk two at a time, it's no big deal. I mean, when you're milking by hand, you can only milk two at a time anyway. So, and then I always set up, step back a sec. I always set up a bucket of hot soapy water, a bottle of water with disinfectant in it for rinsing and stuff like that. So, I only have to take this apart every so often and like thoroughly clean it. It's getting disinfected and cleaned every time we use it. So I will go get Rosie in, get her tied. We'll start cleaning and we'll show you how we do it. And um, this is how Eris and I do it together. Mud. Ugh. Too much mud. Go slow, Mama. Go slow. Good girl. Now this cow is so muddy. It is so muddy right now. It's horrible. As soon as it warms up enough, I'm gonna power wash her, get her legs all cleaned off and everything. But right now, we just have to clean as much as we can. First thing we need to do is get her good and clean. Yeah. We always try to get her teats cleaned off first because then that way the majority of the massive mud's off of that. We're just kind of cleaning up our udder. Okay, Iris. I do the final wipe on her. Mm-hmm. This is a warm towel. <laughs> Got her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But clean. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta do the first part. We do the first part, we strip her off. So that anything that might be in there. Okay. Good job. We got that one to that the goes to the kitties. Okay. All right. We gotta keep those those on. You keep it on. Up here on the top, you have you pop that out. Once we're ready to, you'll see it'll start building up pressure. Once we get them on her, and they're sitting, we'll pop that, and they will suck up on her. Got it? Hold this way. I think you got it, wouldn't it? Raise that one up and you got it. Raise that one up. There you go. You got it. Here we go. Got it. And we're on. Good job. Okay. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sit here, it will not take very long at all. And we just basically watch this. 
And at, when it once it starts getting down to a point where there's very little coming in, we want to shut her down because you don't want to over vacuum. Luckily with her, the running range is anywhere from 13 to 15 on the vacuum. On her, she runs about 11. So it's not too stressful on her. She has all four quarters are really nice. This back quarter here is what I would call her least productive quarter. And it's a little smaller, her teeth smaller than the rest of them. But since we've been milking with the milking machine, it has really brought the production of that up. We're back up to, yesterday I got three and a half gallons off of her for the day. Okay. I'll kill the power. I'll reach under, pop my little valve back out. It kind of helps release the pressure. They slide right off. Well, and then I'll hang these. Eris, you want to strip her out? Strip her out one last time. See if there's any extra milk. Okay. Other side. I see something. Empty. And she is empty. Bomb. We really use the butter bomb. This keeps her. <laughs> nice and soft. Um, it's like there. baby powder. Oh, jeez. Ah, okay. Okay. Right. Rub it all. We rub it in real good. Now, when she is extremely clean, I will actually use it and I will rub her entire bag. Her whole other gets it because it keeps everything stretchy and comfortable. But at this point, Eris is putting it on there and what that does is it keeps them from getting chapped. Yeah, she's done eating. So the next thing I'm gonna do before I even start to move this milk is I'm gonna get her out of the barn and um, she's not gonna wanna go back out there. But um, we'll get her out so she can go eat hay and then we'll come back in and we'll clean the equipment and process the milk real quick. Back, back. Good girl, mama. think that using a milking machine is a pain because it's, it's hard to clean. It really isn't. It saves in your hands and it saves in your back because that's the two things that was really getting me. So got my nice clean stainless steel bucket here and uh, we'll proceed onward here. Once I get the set, I'll let you turn it on. Here, just, in just a minute. We're a little early tonight, so we won't get our full gallon and a half. She'll make up for it in the morning. Okay. Click on the switch. We're down in the soapy water. You want me to put it on? Mm-hmm. That is so easy. Place it in that water. Let me do that one over there first. Hang on. It's this. Yep, I said do this. Careful not to get water up in this hose. This is my little setup to keep the hoses drained and to keep anything from getting on it. Yeah, pull it. Yes. Daddy. Come on, 
jeez. We have some nice yellow milk from New Jersey. Like I said, we're a little short. We'll be a little short tonight, but we, we milked early tonight. So um, what I'm going to do now, go downstairs and get it in the containers and get it in the refrigerator. So this is a, a quick thing on how Eris and I milk the cow. And as you can see, it actually is easier with, with two hands, even if they're little hands. Um, but like I said, it is doable. It takes a little time to figure it out, but very doable with one person. And... It, it is a time saver. It's, if nothing else, it's a back and hand saver. So hope you enjoyed the video on how we milk Rosie. And uh, if you like us, subscribe to us, hit that little bell down there and uh, check out the rest of our videos. So thanks again. Goodbye from Red Duchess Farm.